All right, today we're going to download DaVinci Resolve's free sound library and install it. So you'll see this option if you're in the edit page and you've got sound library going on up here. So by default, it probably looks a little something like this. Click on sound library. That's where you got it. You also will have the same option from the Fairlight panel, sound library. Okay, first thing you got to download it. So just click on the link. That takes you to DaVinci Resolve's website where you then need to fill in some information. Once you put your information in there or the fake information that you use for stuff like this, you'll get this option to hit next, go next, scroll down, review the licensing agreement. If you agree with it, click the I have read and agree, register and download. So you'll get this download zip, and I'm just going to save it to my downloads folder. All right, once the download is complete, you'll have a file that looks something like this. Just right click and extract it using whatever zip file extraction software you use. That's going to be your install file now. Double click on it. and follow the on-screen instructions. Make a note of where this is being installed. So you can put this wherever you want. For example, in this case, you would want to put it into your movies folder. Uh, I think that's a weird place for it, but I'm just gonna let it go to the default for the purpose of this video. But I'm gonna make a note of that. Hit next. Go through, read your licensing agreement properly. Hit next. And install. Once the install is complete, hit finish. So back in DaVinci Resolve, it's still not showing. The reason being is you need to shut down DaVinci and relaunch it. Let's see if it changes. Okay, so now I'm back in DaVinci Resolve, working on a project. And notice what you have now is you have under Sound Library, you have this search option and filter by fields. So you can filter by a name or description. What you don't have is just a big drop down of all the list of stuff in the Sound Library. So what you actually have to do is do a keyword search. This is why I told you to make note of that path, and I'll show you that in just a second. So I searched for bathroom. There's, looks like four sound files, and all you need to do is click them and drag and drop them onto a timeline wherever you want it. You can put it at the end, you can put it underneath, it doesn't really matter. What I do want to point out here though, is if you notice there's quite a bit on this and the reason being is what they usually do is they will have multiple sound effects within one individual clip so um let's see let's go plastic bottles hits body and you can basically see what's going on here is it's gonna turn on the line underneath multiple versions of that so all you need to do is clip it down however you would normally edit the clip. You can drag and drop. You can hit the blade and cut it. And I was just hitting B on the keyboard to get to the blade. And clip it down to that one effect and then move it to wherever I want that effect to happen within the video that I'm working on. And it works the same within the Firelight panel. You can do the same search, select it from the drop down and drag and drop it wherever you want onto uh, the timeline. Now, for the reason why I had you copy and paste the path, you can just pull up and go to that path wherever it is on your computer. Go to Media Files. You can see the name of all of the sound effect files. And you can, if you want, within whatever project you're working on, grab those and drag and drop them because they are just straight up audio files. So you would, you can add them to whatever project you're working on just via like you normally would with any other audio video file by dragging it into the media pool and then putting it onto the video timeline that you're working with wherever you want and then edit it however you want to edit it down. So a nice little feature that they've added in DaVinci with, uh, I think this was DaVinci 16, they added this, I could be wrong on that. 
um, but it's kind of a nice little set of sound effects and you can actually add to it yourself. All these are is your standard audio files WA feed. So if you download some of your own, you can add them to the folder and create a nice little sound effects library. As always, hope you found that useful and have a good day.